Isfahan is admired all over the world for its breathtaking architecture and unique handicraft. To us living in Iran, it's a given that these masterpieces are the fruit of the skill and the artistic taste of the people of this province, a tradition that's been woven into the fabric of this historic land. Weaving continues to be an important craft in Iran. For thousands of years, weavers have used this land's abundant foliage to produce useful and sometimes unique products that are both beautiful and practical. Even though the art of weaving isn't as sought after these days as it was in the past, it's still regarded as an intangible heritage. One type of basket weaving that can be seen throughout Isfahan, especially in the nearby city of Najafabad, is Argavan Bafi. In Farsi, Argavan is the name of the Judas tree, and the raw materials used here are the slender branches of this tree, which are tough enough to withstand the dry climate of this region. The process of collecting branches and stems from different trees and cleaning and preparing them so that they're ready to be woven is a difficult task. That aside, the speed at which master craftsmen and women work ceaselessly isn't something they've reached overnight and has come after years and years of practice. The branches are used for the handle and base, and the more slender ones are used for the bindings. Keep in mind that not any tree branch can be used to make these baskets either. ولی خب موقع که خوش خوش باشد اونا خب نه موقع اینا رو میخزنش ولی الان اینا هر کاش ما باقی میکنیم اینا چرا میشد فرمون برمیداره میشه همه کارشون بکنیم you start off with a few branches and add more as you proceed, using basic weaving patterns to interlock them together. You should add a considerable amount of pressure as you bend the stems while keeping a tight grip on the finished sections so that they won't come loose. As you can see, this isn't easy. برانیم دونم زرق و ظروف و ایستاق آخر میشونم میذارن داخلش اینجا میذارن بعضی روسا ها که میبرن میگن برا نون سبد نونی بهش میگن که میبرن مثلا نون که از تنور در میاد میخواد میریزم مثلا داخلش رو میاد ولی خب بیشتری الان که مثلا خوب در استقبال که میبرن که چه شهردار یا چه اینا اینا میبرن برا کاشتن گور professions that simply don't get the recognition that they deserve, just like locksmiths who've been specializing in every single aspect of locks for ages, but have slowly lost their popularity with the arrival of electronic locks. But I guess we can all agree that locks and therefore locksmiths have been an inseparable part of our lives, providing us with that calming sense of security. Locks have been a part of the Iranian culture ever since the second millennium BC. Iran's oldest existing padlocks date back to the Sasanian dynasty. Locks were made in all shapes and sizes during the Islamic period as well. From about the 10th century onwards, the process of manufacturing locks changed dramatically, and figurine locks were introduced into the craft and became popular very quickly, especially locks that looked like birds. قفل هایی رو داریم که به شکل مجسم قفل هست اینها به نوعی هنر قفل سازی رو در ایران زنده نگه داشتن و باعث شدن که بعد از ورود اسلام که هنر مجسم سازی در ایران منسوخ میشه هنرمندا بتونن اون نبوغشون رو روی این قفل ها پیاده کنن و به صورت سبودی 
به شکل حیوانات مختلف این قفل ها رو بسازن Most of the archaeological findings show that locks were made with bronze and brass up until the Safavid period, after which steel seems to have become the main material used to manufacture them. Keep in mind that here we're only talking about the outer shell of a padlock that's usually designed around the shackle. The frame of the padlock is held together with rivets, so it has nothing to do with the actual mechanism. مواد اولیه استفاده برای قفل سازی سنتی فولاد خامه که ما اون شکل مورد نظر رو رو فولاد خام حکاکی میکنیم و بعد به وسیله عره فلزبور قسمت های اضافی اون رو بلش میزن. Look at the history of the people of Isfahan shows that they have always been creative and masters at overcoming the rigidity of tough materials, giving them a softer and more appealing facade. Kalamzani or metal embossing is another trade that has been practiced in this region for centuries, to the extent that this province is now regarded as the center of the traditional Iranian art of Kalamzani. استیل اصل اگه باشه سفته قلم توش فرو نمیره ولی طلا نقره مس برنج و هر نوع فلزی رو میشه توش حکاکی کرد قلم زد و به نفع احسان ارائه داد The art of Qalamzani in its rudimentary form dates back to about 3000 years ago Primary designs, which are mostly beautiful floral and wildlife motifs, are drawn on a sheet and then traced on the metal using a pointed chisel. Stippling is the most time-consuming part of the work and, if done properly, creates a dark background texture that brings out the fine detail of the design. <laughs> هر کسی یه رشته ای داره هر کسی یه سبک خودش رو داره معمولا وقتی که کار رو نگاه میکنن متوجه میشن که این کار کدوم استاده چه کسی هست Working with metal isn't easy it requires steady hands and a lot of concentration since دیگه برگشت نیست هر چی هشت شد قلم زده شد دیگه همینه دیگه اینو دیگه هیچ کارش نمیتونه بکنه Hard, rigid, and this time sharp. Yet again, we see a master craftsman working on metal. The traditional art of making handmade knives has been practiced in this region for almost 350 years. The handle of these knives is made from horn. First, the horn is heated to give it the flexibility that it needs to bend it in half, creating a small wedge to hide the sharp side of the blade after it's attached. But that's the final phase. Before that, the handle needs to be carved out of the rugged horn and the surface needs to be buffed and polished. Different designs and carvings are added to the blade and the handle. Sometimes oyster shells are worked into the handle and sometimes brass and silver are used. The blades are usually decorated with simple line carvings and the name of the craftsman who's made it. The more delicate and detailed the knives are, the longer it takes to make them. سختتر این بخش کارون است که آدم زحمت و بیکشد تا آخرین مرحله آخرین مرحله دسته ای چاقوش بشکن این سخت دری نشد After you spend a long time in a single profession and master all the tricks of that trade, the amount of time you spend on a single item doesn't matter anymore. What makes the entire process satisfying is holding that eye-catching finished product in your hand, knowing just how much love and passion you put into making it. Wouldn't you agree? Knives are made in other parts of Iran as well, but some say that the sharpness of Najaf Abadi knives rivals none other in Iran. There's also another saying that rings true, that the people of Najaf Abad have learned the language of metal. This is Golna Farnudi 
for Iran. Mm-hmm.